Since the city of Malibu was formed in 1991, we have been a pioneering leader in policies that protect the beautiful and sensitive mountains, the oceans, and beaches that our community cherishes. It is written into our mission statement. It's part of our DNA to protect the environment. So we approach the design and function of this water treatment facility with the environment as our highest priority. Quite an auspicious occasion to see that purple pipe here in Malibu. It may just seem like wastewater, but what's happening here today is something very innovative and that's going to have to be done more and more so in this new normal of climate change that California is facing. And that just relying on the water coming all the way down from the Delta or the Sierra Nevada mountains and that snowpack is just not going to work. So what happened here today is incredibly important. This is a celebration of a new approach to recycling wastewater to keep public spaces green. And as we've been discussing, every drop of water is now precious. Once it's open, the facility will capture and treat about 200,000 gallons of wastewater every day and save 70 million gallons of water every year. That's a lot of green and healthy and happy trees and flowers and people. I would very much like to thank the city of Malibu for setting the trends when it comes to environmental processes, when it comes to the plastic bag ban, when it comes to straws and cutlery and everywhere else, because what you do here actually feeds out into the greater world. It's the small municipalities who can get these things done that model them for everybody else that we can expand upon. So they're very, very valuable. This treatment plant is one of those things amongst many of the things that the city has done. This project really couldn't have happened without the cooperation and the collaboration of a lot of different agencies and individuals. The city's been working on this project for over a decade and there have been a lot of hurdles um, that just seemed insurmountable and there are a lot of times where we didn't think we would be here today, but we are. I look out today at the audience and I remember so many of you participating in discussions of how we were going to get this done and whether we even could get it done. The success of this project is really special. At a time now when there's such acrimony and deep division at the national level and the country doesn't seem to be able to agree on problems, much less work together to solve them. This is a great success story. I never expected the council, in light of the opposition in this community, stand up and move ahead. So to this council and to the council that started this process and said, yes, we're going to go ahead, you have courage. You had a lot of courage. We wouldn't be here today without that kind of courage. The Civic Center Water Treatment Plant is the culmination of so much hard work by so many dedicated and passionate people working toward the same purpose. The Water Board has been a partner with the city from the concept through the planning, design, and construction phases of this project. The State Water Board and the city have had a long history of collaboration on many water quality improvement projects as the city has pursued the laudable goal of sustainable water management. Our programs, policies, and projects that protect our coastline and ecosystem, preserve our rural character, and adapt to the changing climate and drought, and, and can inspire other cities, states, and companies to join us in paving a way for a sustainable future.